Hi there, this is Tom from DSC Sport. We're in a Porsche 997 Turbo here. We just installed tractive suspension on. This car already has our DSC and has our DSC in it for quite some time. And what we're going to do today is to demonstrate how to verify that the DSC is working by using the data function in the DSC Sport software. Um, this is a rainy day as you can see here, but we can demonstrate how to uh, make sure the system is working as it should without even leaving the parking lot here. So first we'll uh, let Jeremy take it away onto the software, the parameters to select for the record. So guys, I'm taking over for Tom here. I'm going to start with having the engine on. That's what Tom is, has right now. The car is on before you plug your DSC module in. Next, you're going to want to go to vehicle select here on file make sure you select the right vehicle type this is a two mode 997 okay we also want to make sure the board is connected so we're going to do a reset board is reset after that you just want to verify your parameters the only ones you really need to do uh, data log so first select here configure data log and you're going to open up these tabs and you're going to go through the list. All you really need is current out for each shock. And like I said, the firmware should already have this programmed for your parameters to look at. Brake pressure. Let's scroll down the list here. It might take a minute, but acceleration, you just want the TPS. Speed's going to be speed. It's pretty simple steering you don't really need to have but to have the table indexed it's good and here your uh, that one's pre-selected so just leave that alone your G sensor you're gonna want to do the G longitude and lat uh, latitude CNV and then you don't have to worry about your yaw sensor the reason why you don't want to select everything is because there's so much data it slows down the process so uh, you know, these are the minimum requirement that we think is necessary for verifying the system absolutely you're right Tom and so we're going to do a set just to make sure all the parameters are set we're done exit out of your tab here we're going to go back to tools and then we're going to begin our record data log so you're going to click here on record data log you're gonna have this nice little window pop up. Just expand it so you can see it a little better. And right here on the right is gonna be a record button. As you see highlighted right here. So we're gonna begin recording. And this is live right now. So without even moving the car, we're sitting here in the parking lot with the engine running. Like Jeremy said, we, uh, we have to have the engine running before we plug in the USB cable onto the PC because you know, we're powering it twice with the PC and the engine's alternator power. So you always, in, in such a case, you always want to uh, have the bigger source of power before the smaller, in which case the engine power, powering the alternator is bigger than the battery in the PC. So we want to do that. Now, uh, we're sitting here in this parking lot. I'm just going to uh, apply the brake. So, scroll down yep. on the screen to display brake pressure. Well, I'm just going to apply the brake like halfway on the pedal. You can see it halfway on the pedal. This movement, we'll do it again. Without even having the car in motion, we have already verified that the CAN bus is working. So the DSC is connected to the CAN bus of the car, reading the brake pressure. Now, if you would scroll down a little bit so we can see TPS, we're at idle speed now. I'm just going to take it up to 2,000 RPMs. It doesn't have to be much. You can see some motion, and that's enough to tell us that uh, this portion of the CAN bus is also working. And uh, if you would, scroll down to see the uh, G-Force CNV. 
Okay, so we just released the parking brake and we are driving in a parking lot here, uh, no more than 10 miles an hour. You can already see there's some activity going on. I'm cutting the steering wheel back and forth. As you can see, I can yeah. trying the best I can to stabilize the camera. And guys. now I'm going to apply the brake at 10 miles an hour. That's it. You can see this movement here, which indicates that everything is working properly. We don't need to go on a road or on a racetrack to test the basic functions. So uh, they are working. So if you would now scroll upward so we can see the commands to the shocks. Okay, now you can see the current out in milliamps to each shock. Um, the actual values are over here. So we're in the same parking lot. I'm gonna apply the brake and accelerate a little bit, but I don't have to take the vehicle to over 15 miles an hour in order to see the changes in the commands. So here we go. So all these movements indicate that the commands are being sent to the shock according to the G-force and the other activities. So um, yeah, there you have it. We can verify the system is working without leaving the parking lot. This is Tom at DSC. I hope this is a helpful video. This car rides so smooth. It is a smooth it. driving car, man.